Ethereum Spot ETF. I'm the altcoin analyst. Nothing here is financial advice. Let's dive in. Normally, I make a analyzing altcoins video on Monday, but I think some pretty big news came in. And so we are going to cover that and maybe talk about what might happen next. Now, looking at the chart today, we see that we have a pretty nice bounce here. And so this came in late in the day on some news that I think is more like very positive for the Ethereum spot ETF. So <laughs> a 20% green candle. Looking back, we haven't had a 20% green candle in a while for the day. Now, maybe one over here or maybe kind of over here. And so it's a very impressive day, especially since the trading happened late in the day. So if we look at the four hour chart here, we can see that this started around UTC 1600. And so again, I think a very impressive day, but why did this happen? Well, there's this account that I like to follow for the fastest market moving news in crypto. It's tier 10 K. They came out four hours ago saying the SEC asks exchanges to update the one or one nine B dash four filings on an accelerated basis for spot ether ETFs CoinDesk. And so exchanges are being asked to update 19 B dash four filings on an accelerated basis by the US Securities and Exchange Commission. Three people familiar with the situation told CoinDesk. Coindesk suggesting they may be moving to approve these applications ahead of a key deadline this Thursday. Bloomberg Intelligence ETF analysts Eric and James Safart raised their odds for the approval of a spot Ether ETF to 75% from 25% on Monday after hearing chatter that the SEC could be taking a more favorable stance towards the applications. If we go over to James Safart, here's the list of the ETF race, the ethnis stakes, <laughs> which is kind of uh, funny, kind of a little play on the prickness. So with that being said, James Safart has updated a list of all the entrants in the spot Ethereum ETF race, and we can see the final deadline is 523. So it is looking like I think all of them might get approved on the 23rd. Now, I think at a 75% approval probability from this analyst is very telling. Why would the SEC change their stance on the Ethereum ETF? Well, it could be very well politically driven. There are a lot of crypto holders that are probably going to vote the other way simply because Trump is a has taken a more crypto positive stance now getting into the actual details how much of an impact can one administration or president have well i guess it depends we see currently the stance that the current administration and the sec are taking against crypto and so i tend to think that a more pro stance might be more beneficial to crypto companies as a whole in the us now I'll caveat that with saying, I think that a global financial decentralized system is going to make its way or going to make its impact globally. And so it's, I think, kind of foolish focusing on the politics of one country when talking about a global financial system. So again, I don't want to talk too much about politics, but I tend to think the SEC and the political party that's not very crypto friendly is starting to realize that they are losing a huge voter base if they don't shift their tune. Now, some people who are pro crypto might just simply say, hey, it doesn't bother me. I, I, I like the current administration. And again, some crypto people are, are going to say, hey, no, I, I need a pro crypto candidate. Now, what does this mean? Does this mean we're going up into a bull run and a mania phase is, is imminent? I tend to think let's wait for the spot ETF approval for Ethereum. Let's see how the market reacts and let's go from there. Because again, the macroeconomic headwinds of a recession haven't resolved themselves. Looking how much we rose on the news 
what happens if we get rejected? Because this was on the news that a probability for an approval has increased. And the signs are there, which I think the market is now a little more positive that we this might actually happen on Thursday. Now, earlier today, this wasn't the case. But what happens if we get rejected? Do I think that we're going off into this massive bull run? No, I'm still looking at the S&P. And again, today we've we've put in our, our high and we've kind of stalled out here. So the rally has more or less stalled out here at the top and it's waiting to be seen because assets can go up, but assets can also go down. If we look at the futures again, it's not really indicating a large move to the upside. And so I tend to think once these macroeconomic headwinds resolve themselves, I am going to turn very bullish, but right now I'm cautious, especially after that, after today with the candle on the news that the probabilities have increased. And so from a technical standpoint, we are kind of up here at this level right here. I tend to think that if we are going to break above this level, then we're looking probably at new all time highs. But until that happens, I think that we need to take it day by day. Let's get the Ethereum spot ETF approved and let's go from there. Because even if this gets approved, remember on the Bitcoin spot ETF, the Bitcoin spot ETF on the approval date, the price dropped 21%. And so if the price drops a significant amount from here and potentially comes down below these levels, I think that there might be a case for it to go lower. Now, I think that this is a major area of support that if we break, it's probably going to spell trouble for the altcoin market. And I'm gonna be waiting to see if we can actually break new all-time highs. On the Bitcoin chart, I think all-time highs are looking a little bit more realistic compared to Ethereum right now, because we are back at range highs. And so this downtrend that we were in, I think is confidently broken. And so I am going to be interested to see if we can actually get above this level, put in new all-time highs, and then see what the market does after that. Now, if we go over to into the cryptoverse and look at the social risk, again, the case for a non-mania phase is this social risk keeps putting in lower lows. There's a reason that I think retail is probably not interested is because the S&P is delivering gains and continuously to deliver new gains and higher higher returns for investors in the stock market. So why would those stock investors come to crypto? And so again, the social risk continues to go down. If we go to the Bitcoin search terms, interest over time, numerical value, we can see that we are up to a 48 now. We are get this is the past 90 days. We can look at it in the past 30 days. There is some renewed interest in the space with the Ethereum spot ETF. And so if we look at the past five years, again, it hasn't really made a turn up, but it's starting to kind of bottom out. And again, I think it will probably turn up if the Ethereum spot ETF gets approved, but how much is that emotion going to last in the space? Right now, I remain cautious. I think the Ethereum spot ETF will be approved. However, I'm not convinced we're going up into that mania phase. I tend to think the mania phase is gonna happen in 2025 and not this year. And so with that being said, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.